Neosho County Community College's Ottawa campus recently introduced the newest member of its surgical technician program. Her name is Sally Sendaver, a synthetic cadaver composed of material and fibers made to look and feel like a real human cadaver. The surgical team of Dr. Rod McCullough, medical director of the surgical technician program at Neosho and chief of surgery at Ransom Memorial Hospital, Kelly Warren, director of the Neosho surgical technician program, and Jessica Wallace and Jennifer Ferguson, both certified surgical technicians, performed a bowel surgery in the college's operating room August 24th. Warren and McCullough both said the Sundaver is extremely realistic when compared to a human body. The feeling when I would stitch through the intestine, the feelings when I would stitch through the fascia, very, very similar. I mean, I think that that 85 to 90 percent of real is, is very, very close. And, and as far as the intestines go, I would even put it closer to 90 to 95 percent, the feel of it. I mean, what it feels like when a stitch is going through and when you're handling it, it was, it was close. The surgery involved removing a toothpick from Sally Sendaver's small intestine and was broadcast through a live feed for members of the community gathered at the college for the demonstration. The college's decision to purchase the Sendaver for educational purposes didn't come without some consideration for using real cadavers. Actually, our Chinook campus has cadavers. Um, there's a lot of regulations that go with having a cadaver at a campus. We, we, even though this is a new campus, um, we, didn't, we weren't set up to have a cadaver here. McCullough and Warren both said they are excited about the opportunities the Sundaver brings to the students in Yosha's program. We have, we have mock surgeries where they drape and they, um, we kind of go through the steps with them. That'll be, that would be me or one of the instructor, one of the other instructors would go through steps with them or we watch videos, things like that. But they certainly don't have a surgeon to work with until they get to the OR rotation. So that's going to be able to happen sooner, that exposure, which is huge.